All right, team. Hey, start the repeat outfit, but I'm just going back to that recording. So here is your 30 minutes uh, lower body uh, workout for your Wednesday. Uh, it's lower body, so of course we'll alternate with some core and um, really just core work today. So your cardio will all come through the heavy lifting we're doing. So reminder, today's flip challenge point is by uh, lifting heavy today. So I'm going to remind you to grab a heavy weight when you hit all these exercises. So here are your set of six. So we're going to start. Uh, so get your bodies, get your body moving, moving some high knees, uh, get some uh, squats in there so you get your lower body and then maybe a few push-ups. Or, or I always like those payloads too uh, above your head to get warmed up while I'm talking you through our set. Uh, so first one, we're gonna start with uh, shoulder weight squats. So dumbbells are gonna go on our shoulders. I love it and hate this one because it reminds me to stay as upright as possible as I press that seat back and into my low squat position. So of course, modify intensity here by either eliminating the weight or just just going lower weight and then um, reducing the depth of your squat. So, I try to press my seat back. I try to get my quads to parallel to the floor. If that's your goal too, that's excellent. If that's not your goal and that's just too much, you modify what works for you. Second one is a kettlebell swing. So this is the dumbbell or kettlebell. It's going to come both hands in between your knees as you press your seat back. You're going to get momentum out of that to drive it through your heels. Momentum is going to press that weight forward. My arms are not going to go above shoulder level when they come up and then they'll fall back down until again I rise through the heels, press my seat. So I'm going to, I'm going to mimic what I do uh, on my seat here. As I drive up, I'm really springing that seat forward. Those hips forward are going to drive my weight. Okay. If that ball is your, your back, you can't figure, figure out to get a form right to where it doesn't. That's okay. Go to donkey kicks on the mat. That's on all fours. You can either tuck a dumbbell behind your knee or loop band those knees to do that one. Then we've got a low hold sumo squat. So you'll grab that either end of the dumbbell, low hold, and your sumo squat, of course, and knees out, toes out, keeping your um, pelvis forward, keeping your uh, tailbone tucked under. Then we've got a reverse plank hold. So we'll be on the mat um, and we'll lift that pelvis to uh, create a hip bridge uh, onto your heels. Then we've got tabletop knee circles. So this probably has more to do with mobility than it does strength, but you will feel a little better in your hip. I think we've been doing that after some repetition here. And then lastly, we'll end with um, an arm burner series. So curls, kickbacks, shoulder press, and, and bent over rows. So I'll get our timer going. You grab your uh, shoulder weights, uh, your set of dumbbells for that first round of squats. Here we go. Go. Those weights are at your shoulders. Press them back into that squat. Good work. Ooh. Great. Two 
hard on your shoulders as it is your quads and glutes. Go. Notice my elbows don't collapse toward one another. They're staying equidistant. Great. Whew. Those weights can come down to your side. We're going to start with a standing oblique, but we're going to alternate this time. We often just do just one side. And then we're going to switch it up in the middle here. So left to right. I intentionally pause to stabilize and kind of set those core muscles. Remind me of holding those taut. I don't know if it just fits my social because um, of all the exercise things I saw though. All right, this time you're going to add just a shoulder shrug. So oblique to shrug. Other side, oblique to shrug. But what I keep seeing on my social is these women doing this kind of belly roll, kind of ab work. And then a lot of people saying, you know, stop putting that on social media. They're showing like two weeks apart and people lose 10 pounds or whatever. But obviously, ridiculous. You can't roll your belly around and lose 10 pounds unless you changed your diet immensely and possibly got treatment for whatever was may have been getting in the way of your metabolism. And then short amount of time. Great. Alright, so now we're on the kettlebell swings. Kettlebell one by all. Go. Last one. 
It's copyright free music makes me laugh though, because I feel like I've heard every song. And it feels like it's all sampled in today's pop hits. Woo! All right. All right, get outside. Woo! All right, we've got a two minute jump rope coming up. In three, two, one. You can always jog this out and rejoin the hop when you're ready. Take the yarn out. 
with one cord and one arm burner in between you and my vacation. Ah, go. Single leg leg raises, then one cross over like a figure four. We don't have a long drive. It's, I mean, for us, we're used to driving to Pennsylvania and family, so it's like a nine hour drive. This is just like a four and a half hour drive. No big deal. We're not even leaving. I'm going to tell them whenever we're ready, I suppose, but it wasn't like we were leaving with any great urgency this morning. So even that feels relaxing. Everything's packed except that last minute bag, you know. I made myself a list of what are the things. Switch legs. What is the last question I ask everybody before we walk out the door? Do you all have toothbrushes? Do you all have underwear? Other than that, you're on your own to share. We've definitely taken vacations where kids haven't packed. Well, either of those. Underwear shopping. <laughs> 25 seconds. Yeah. 
fingertips up to the sky. I'll give it a little yoga music. Press that elbow down overhead. Other elbow. Same head. Give yourself a little shoulder, shoulder rub down while you're back there. Or scratch you on back. Ugh. If you haven't opened up that chest yet, do that. Arm across your body. Other side. Good, take a side lunge. I like one of the recommendations I got on the survey um, was a really good one I'd like to start uh, putting into practice here. So as we transition to stretch, um, I'm going to have kind of inspirational, well, either inspirational quotes or sometimes the Bible verse, sometimes, um, you know, maybe a quote or something. But the first one I'll, I'll take for you was, was from a uh, yoga class I did recently. She handed out these cards. Uh, as we started in, it was kind of a nice focus, so twist around to the runner's lunge. And the one I happened to get, but I really liked and resonated with me, and I hope it does with you as well. Um, drop your hips down, get a nice hip stretch there. The message here was, is I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. Oh, sorry for the timer. Ding, ding, ding. I usually try to kick that off, that's why. Switch those feet out. So you've got a runner's lunge on the other side now. Getting a calf stretch and letting your hips drop. And I'll read that one more time for you. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. I hope that means something to you too. Make sure you get those hamstrings, so whether it's a wide kind of straddle stance forward fold. Hit those hamstrings with all the work we did there uh, between the reverse planks and the kettlebell swings. And then you will be on your way to a very happy Wednesday.